guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. Uh, so first of all, I am a little bit sick today, so if my voice sounds weird or if I'm sniffly, I apologize for that. Uh, second of all, I don't really know what this look is today. I was getting ready to film today and it just kind of started evolving and now I feel like I have a whole like ethereal elven vibe going on and I really really like it. It started with just this necklace and just a simple black tank top and then I put this thing on which is just like a little over thing and it has this butterfly pendant on it and then I saw the vibe of the necklace and the butterfly pendant and I was like "Ooh, I should put on my uh, little elven circlet tiara thing and then that escalated into earrings and then I was like oh my god I have the even star necklace too so this is what we're ending up with. I am really excited about it because I sometimes forget that I can just dress up and wear whatever I want on YouTube. Like there's no rules, you know, like I could just full on do any makeup, any outfit thing. Like it's just kind of cool. And I'm going to try to embrace that more and like having more fun with like my style and stuff. Today, basically, as you can probably see from the title, I am kind of doing like a thrift store haul video. My husband and I went to the thrift store last week on Wednesday, um, which was really, really fun. We had this whole plan to like go on like a route <laughs> around nearby us to like five or six different thrift stores, but we only ended up going to two or three um because we ran out of time because we spent a lot longer than we had uh hoped for in some of them but we got a lot of cute little things and we're gonna go again on another little thrift store adventure and go to the ones that we missed out on we were kind of after like more so like home decor stuff we didn't really look at clothing much have everything uh laying out in front of me except for one thing which is in the other room because it's too big but uh, I'm really excited to show you guys and I tried to film some of it while I was at the store um, like getting b-roll of some of the stuff that I found on the shelves I tried to film myself a little bit but not too much but I'm excited because I actually kind of have some b-roll to show you guys starting with no particular thing the first thing that I got is this little jar I have this like obsession with what I like to call like old lady home decor stuff. I don't really know how to explain it. Uh, the best example is that I collect uh, cat plates. Uh, I'll put some footage of that too that's in my kitchen and I'm just obsessed with like the old lady aesthetic thing. So this was kind of giving me that vibe, just kind of like cute middle-aged older lady vibes. That's what I get from this. I don't know if that's a weird thing to say. But I have this in my kitchen currently and I didn't know what to put in it. So for now I put in tea bags. Uh, these are just some cheap, uh, just like Tetley tea bags. I really like just normal Tetley tea. Um, so yeah, that's really good. Um, and I think it's just really, really cute. I don't know if I'll ever use it for something else, but for now that was all that I could think to put in it. And I really think that it's super cute. Moving on to the next item, kind of in the same realm and aesthetic of the, the that vibe of the old lady stuff. Um, this I currently have sitting on my nightstand. I don't really know where else I would want to put it as of right now, but it's just basically got this really cute um, little floral pattern on it and it's like a uh, minty teal blue kind of color and it has little drawers. Um, <laughs> me just like pulls it all the way out. Um, so far, oh I actually do have right now a little LED uh, remote because in our bedroom we have the LED lights so I just put that in there and then nothing in the middle drawer and on the top I have my birth control pills so yeah that's what I'm using this for right now I just think it's really cute I might find a different spot for it or a different use but for now it is a cute little nightstand accessory the next thing that I have is this little glass dish thing it's kind of like a Christmas vibe is what I'm getting from it there's like pine trees and a moon and stars and there e there's even like a shooting star right here and it's really cute um i wanted to get more stuff like this like they have a lot of um like glass decorative bowls like this at the thrift store and they're not too expensive most of them were in the realm of like one dollar two dollars up to like five dollars or so and i wanted to get more but 
I just, I don't know, I didn't want to spend like too much money, so I tried to just kind of settle on one little cute bowl to get for now, but I definitely want to get more in the future. Um, at one of my last thrift store adventures, I think like over a year ago, I got one of those cute like little sugar jar things where it has like the cap on it and the little slot to put your spoon in, and I just love these. Like they're just so cute. What even are these called? Just decorative glass bowls I don't know but um, the plan for it is to just put little tumbled stones and little tumbled crystals into here um, I'm thinking mostly for when we get Etsy orders we like to throw in like one or two little free tumbled stones so I think that that's what I'll use this for so I can just like pick them out the next thing this one's kind of random but it's a little kitty tape dispenser and when I first saw this at the thrift store I didn't know what it was because it didn't have the tape in it so I was just kind of like what is this thing and it has like stuff in it I think it's just for like weight but it's just funny because it like jingles and it's just it's just really cute it kind of looks like he's like holding a little ball of yarn and it's just awesome um also I just realized I left one of the other things like my favorite thing that I got in the kitchen so I'm gonna go grab it I actually posted about this one in my discord so if any of you are in there you might have already seen this one but following the cat tape dispenser let me show you that next item okay I have returned from the kitchen so this one is by far my favorite thing that I got like this is the most unique coolest thing ever I like freaked out when I saw it at the thrift store so let me show you guys it's kind of big and heavy um whatever this is loud this just literally this um basically it is a cat uh cookie holder is what i think oh my god neo hello he's like oh my god mom's showing the cat thing hi kitty um i'm literally so obsessed with this this was kind of expensive not like expensive hold on that's so loud um but I usually don't like to spend more than like five or six dollars on things at the thrift store and this was I think like thirteen dollars so it was just a little bit more expensive than I would usually like to but obviously it was just so good that I had to so there is this part which is the cookie jar part essentially you could use it for numerous things someone mentioned in my discord that I could use it as like a cat treat bowl um, cat treats are pretty small though so this would like fill up with so many but you know if it was like dog treats or something that could work but that might be weird but basically anything any kind of like snacks or anything it's got like a little fish on it it's so cute um, I'm sorry that it's really loud and rattly. Um, we actually did have some little cookies in there. Derek and I have been obsessed with baking cookies. I mean, like, we've loved baking cookies for a long time, like, since we've been together. Um, and when we were long distance and when I would visit, we would bake cookies together, specifically Brookies, like the half brownie, half chocolate chip cookie. And so we've been making those a lot. And we think eventually we want to, like, sell them on Etsy at some point, on, like, a new Etsy shop that we want to open. So yeah basically we've gotten really good at making brookie cookies so we made a bunch of them we actually made them kind of small like mini cookie size things and put them into there and it looked so cute I wish I got footage of it with cookies in it but it was awesome and yeah basically here's a better look at the cat it's just so cute again it kind of looks like it's like holding a ball of like yarn when it's in there and this just matches my kitchen so well with my cat plates. I feel like my kitchen is just turning into a old cat lady's kitchen and it's a whole vibe. The next thing that I have is two mirrors. Um, these were like sold separately. Um, one was $4 and one was $3. You guys can like see my setup. <laughs> um, I haven't cleaned these yet so they're still really really dirty but basically just two mirrors um they're like the same design so they're obviously like meant to be together but they were sold separately and I just thought that they were really cute I like the design on it I don't know I think it's very like rustic I don't really know the word for it but I think that I'm gonna put them both at like the front door area so that when you like come in the door there's like some mirrors and I have like a little um one of those like benches that you can sit on and like it has storage in it uh, at the front door I'll hopefully put in some footage footage to kind of show you guys what I mean but I think that that's where I'm going to put them um we actually need to get some like nails and like screws and stuff from the store so we can hang up uh some more stuff but I'm really excited because our house has been pretty like bare and not very like 
decorated or anything so we're definitely that's kind of the main thing that we're after right now at the thrift store is trying to make our home a little bit more homey and everything so the next thing this one isn't super exciting and it's a little bit dusty but we got this uh, little thing that we can use in our office again for our business to probably just put like mail in or something or like some kind of paperwork so I guess that this can hang up on the wall somehow I don't really know how because there's no like things on the back but I'm guessing maybe you can use these things somehow maybe put like a rod through it and then hang it I have no idea but um, I just thought that that was cute then I think that we're on the very last item uh, which is this fake plant it's basically like a fake lavender plant I believe and I just thought it was really cute I don't really have many like plant like things um, and I'm not good at like taking care of real plants and I'm also just kind of nervous to get any because of I don't really know much about them and which ones are bad for cats so fake plants are awesome I think it's really cute it's got kind of this like marble container thing and it's got like little rocks in there I don't know if you can tell but uh that is what is in there they're mostly glued down it looks like so that's good I definitely want more stuff like this I think that is just so cute and a perfect little decor item Oh, sick. Okay. Um, anyways, that is everything. I'm pretty sure that I didn't miss anything um, other than the last thing that we got, but it's in the other room and I don't want to bring it in here because it's just too big. So I'll go get some separate footage of it while I talk about it here. Um, we found a ter terrarium. Is that what they're called for like lizards and stuff and it's kind of small and basically okay eventually we do want to get a lizard or two maybe like sometime in 2024 um, but this one we don't think that we'll use for that purpose but we do also have let me actually go show you guys so you know what I'm talking about uh, okay so I'm back so basically my husband and I have uh, what we like to call decorative rock that we get from our mining claim area and it's basically just rocks that look really cool so this is some material that you find at our mining claim most of the time just kind of laying around or sometimes we dig it up and my husband had this really cool idea to cut the bottoms of them he's actually been doing this for a few years like long before I've met him so he has like a whole bin of these outside of different cool shapes and stuff and they're basically just really cool decorative rocks and we wanted to get this terrarium my cat's using the litter box right outside my door. Um, we wanted to get the terrarium so that we can take product photos of them in a terrarium because we think some of these would be great. I also have a really, really big one right here. This one's huge. He's had this one for a really, really long time. So there's just lots of cool like rhyolite textures and agate and all kinds of stuff. And then the bottom is always really, really cool where he cuts them. So. Yeah, basically we think some of these could be good as like a lizard or a spider thing to, for people to put into their terrarium. So we were actually really wanting to get one and we found that terrarium for only like $15, which I feel like is a really, really good deal. Um, when we found it, the screen on the top was like broken, but Derek managed to fix it. So yeah, we're just going to use it for display purposes to take photos for our Etsy shop and then eventually in 2024 um, we want to actually get lizard pets so that we can just have our own because now that we're like considering terrariums and selling stuff to people that have lizards and spiders and all that kind of stuff we're like we really want some lizards if anyone owns reptiles or anything and has any tips for getting into that or any terrarium recommendations because when we do do that in 2024 we definitely want to get like the best stuff and lots of room and lots of cool uh stuff for our lizards and everything so we're really excited anyways i think that that's all that i've got for you guys we've covered all of the items let me know if you liked this kind of video um i really want to do actual like thrift with me videos like more vlog style where it actually feels like you're thrifting with me opposed to like after the fact just sitting down and showing you what I got um, so that's why this time when I went I tried to get some b-roll to kind of get myself comfortable with the idea of filming out in public but I'm hoping I can kind of take it to the next level and push myself out of my comfort zone more next time and actually like film myself like hey guys we're at the thrift store show myself trying on clothes and finding things and talking to you guys so let me know if you guys would like that kind of content because I think it would be really really fun and a great way to push myself. I think I'm gonna go and eat some more soup and heat up the rest of my coffee that I have to drink and then I gotta get ready to go to work. That's actually another thing. We've been working 
Um, we started some new jobs. I think that I was talking about this on a previous YouTube video, but officially we've been working for over two weeks now together, Derek and I, as janitors essentially. So it's been really fun just like, you know, cleaning bathrooms, mopping floors, vacuuming, dusting. Um, that's pretty much what we do full time now, Monday to Friday. So yeah, it feels really, really nice. Um, it's definitely different you know like we've been working from home like literally doing our own thing for the last like year or so and it's just gotten to the point where we're not really making enough money anymore um just you know it's just kind of been hard so now we're finally at the point where we have normal jobs it feels a lot more stable more consistent income and basically i'm just really really excited for 2024 i feel like we're in a really good spot a really good era so i'm planning to actually make a YouTube video talking about like kind of a recap of 2023 and my plans for 2024. I feel like all the YouTubers kind of make New Year's type videos so I kind of want to make one too so we will see. Let me know if there's anything specific you want me to talk about in a video like that in terms of preparing for the new year and reflecting on the year that has passed. Uh, anyways though, I think I've rambled on for far too long. I hope that you guys have an amazing day and are having an amazing December so far and I will see you in the next one. Bye!